We are thankful to the God of heaven for allowing us to be here today. It's not because of what we have done, but it's because God has been good to us. We are in a pandemic, but God is still on our side. We are still God's children. I want to say to first to the first line responders that we thank God for 
you for the hospital, our policemen and the firemen, we thank God for your services and pray that God continue to bless you and continue to keep you. The Lord is my shepherd. I was able to arise this morning and able to get up. The Lord is my shepherd. I had a little something to eat on this morning. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of shelter over my head. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of transportation to take me to and fro. The Lord is my shepherd. I am now present to hear the words of the Lord wherever you are. Your presence. The Lord is my shepherd. We trust that you do well in this pandemic and what's going on right now, but we serve a God that's able to bring us through. If you just bear with me just for a few moments, and we're coming out of the book of Acts, Acts chapter 16, verses 24 through 28. A familiar text, and you, you you know the text of the Apostle Paul. And it reads and says thusly Who had received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their fast into the dark. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and every one's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleeping, seeing that the prison doors were open, drew out a sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had finished. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. I want you to come with me to the text and I starts earlier that Paul saw they were beaten with rod. They had charges against them uh, that were falsely. But it's interesting to me as I look at this text and I want to draw from verse number 25. When it says that at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. For a subject I want to talk about shut in, but not shut up. I believe even during this pandemic, while we are in the mode of stay home, we have to be as God's children we are. Shut in. But we should never be shut up. Paul and Silas, there in the prison, began to sing and pray to God Almighty. Isn't it strange that even in a bad circumstance that you're still able to sing praises to God Almighty? All of us find ourselves in bad situations. And if you haven't, grandmother, big mama would say to you, you just keep on living because something will happen after a while. No one would have ever thought that it would be or find ourselves in this kind of world situation. Yes, 
God, you have our attention. Yes, God, uh, you ring our doorbell, and you send us an email, and you text us, and, and we have got the, uh, the receiving end of what you're trying to say to us. For it's not time for the believers and the Christians to be quiet. But it's time for us to give prayer, praises, and thanks. Let me say that again. It's not time for the believers and the Christians uh, to go and be quiet. Uh, but it's time for us to give prayers and give praises and give thanks to God Almighty. That even now, blessings are still flowing. Let me stop right here. I said, even now, blessings are still flowing. I saw somebody the other day uh, was lined up and they were receiving food. Some have received money. Some have had bill assistance. Uh, even now, God <laughs> is still blessing. I'm so thankful that I serve a God. Uh, that even in times like this, is still blessing. Yes, I'm shut in, uh, but you can't shut me up. God has still brought me from a mighty long way. Uh, even right now, and I, and I know there's a lot of mishaps and a lot of bad things going on, but even now, God is still in the blessing business, and sometimes I just want to say, hallelujah, thank you, God, uh, uh, for what you've all Ready done. Now, this is why I give my praises. I, I give my prayers. I, I give uh, my thanks. Now, uh, even earlier out of the text, Paul had just baptized Lydia and the household. But now I find themselves in jail, find themselves in an uncomfortable situation. All of us can get a glory when things are well. I remember when things were doing fine and the stock market was high and everybody was smiling. But sometimes it's tough and it's hard to give praises uh, when things are not doing uh, so well. Uh, when, when things come down, it's, not, <laughs> it's easy to give praises. But the God's people, uh, the God's people, will still give praises and honor to him in a situation like this. We cannot allow the devil to shut us up. The devil may shut us in, but the devil can't shut me up. Uh, I serve a God, and I want the world to know that even now, in a pandemic, I serve a true and a living God. And I just drop by to tell somebody, that nobody and nothing can stop me from sharing an almighty God. And I'm not talking about the four walls where we come to church. Uh, I'm not talking about the building. Uh, I'm not talking about the lights and the air conditioning and how much you pay for the building. Uh, I'm talking about the temple me. Uh, that's where the real church is. You are the church. I am uh, the church. You can't stop me. I tell you what, uh, you can shut me in, but you can't shut me up uh, because I already know what God has done uh, uh, for me. I would never, uh, not allow Satan. I just won't allow him uh, yeah, for me to get down on God's goodness. I won't allow Satan to lie on the love that he has for me. I will not allow Satan to zone out my zeal that I have for him. I will not allow Satan to bruise me for the blessings that he's already given me. I will not allow Satan to keep me from the kingdom. I will not allow him to jack up my justice, move my mercy, uh, hold my healing, discount my divineness, cut my Christianity, uh, step on my steadfastness, strip me of my spirit, ground my grace, uh, and mess up my mercy. I have come too far, and God has brought me too far for me to turn around. Uh, I say now, I know that I am shut in, uh, but 
you can. Shut me up. I, I like Paul and Silas uh, that they were able in that kind of situation. I, I, I think about today, I, I want to say that I wonder how many that shut in and still giving praises to the Almighty God. How many of us uh, uh, that shut in uh, and having a little trouble right now and they are uh, still won't give God uh, the praises, won't give him the prayers, uh, won't give him uh, the thankfulness. Uh, even right now, I say to you that, Lord, I'm rushing. I am shut in, uh, but you can't uh, shut me up. I, I want to deal with three things uh, this morning uh, that God is, because I wondered why Paul and Silas were singing and praying in the prison. See, 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 they knew something <laughs> that others didn't know. The Bible says that the prisoners heard that singing and that prayer. What you doing singing and praying? And I know you locked up just like I am. Something else is going on. You see, when a Christian and God's children get in a bad situation, uh, it don't make no difference how bad uh, the situation gets. Now, I think they know something that every child of God ought to know. Uh, I think, uh, oh, Paul realized, uh, he said, I come from a mighty long road. Uh, you see, I come from the Damascus Road. Uh, I've been there. Well, what do they have? Why were they singing? Why were they praying? I, I want to deal with three points. Uh, I think, number one, uh, uh, well, they knew that they had a deliverer. They knew that they had a deliverer. You see, uh, you can shout and you can praise God when you're going through something. If you know that you have a, a deliverer, it's all right. <laughs> Even uh, when you're in jail and you know you can make a phone call. You know that you got a good lawyer. Ain't nobody here with us. Uh, you're in jail, but you're not worried. You're saying, after a while, I'm going to get out. Let me make a call to my lawyer. Uh, let me make a call to someone uh, that's able to do it. God is able to be our deliverer. You see, that's why they're singing and praises to the deliverer. And I like what he said, Dr. Timothy 4 and verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me. And the Lord shall deliver me uh, from the evil work. Uh, and he will preserve unto uh, his heavenly kingdom. Not only is he going to deliver me, but he's going to preserve me. Huh? And I drop out to tell somebody today uh, that God is not only going to deliver us, but he also will You sit there and you play games on your phone. You 
sit there and you call and talk to a friend because you know that a deliverer is on his way. Uh, you say, I'm all right uh, because I've just called a certain son and they've come uh, and they're going to deliver me. Uh, that's me today. Uh, we've already dialed 111 uh, and the delivery service is on uh, uh, this way, uh, hold on, uh, because I have uh, a deliverer. And then uh, my next point, while wow, were they singing and praying, they had a comforter. There's nothing like having a comforter when you are in trouble. This is why I know people say, you know what, I'm almost going crazy now. I've been stuck inside. <laughs> yeah, I can't go around, I can't get out. Uh, let me tell you something. My comfort is in the Lord. I'm going to be all right. And you're going to be all right. He is the comfort. And 2 Corinthians in verse number 4, well, he says, who comforts us in all our tribulations, whatever you're going through. I wish I had time right here. I said, whatever you're going through, it may be a pandemic, but whatever you're going through, uh, whatever is happening in your life, uh, whatever the relationship is going on, whatever down spots you're having, uh, whatever family problems you are encountering, he said, uh, I am the comforter. I will comfort you in all of your tribulations and whatever is happening in your life. Uh, why? Because that you'll be able to comfort somebody else. You see, when you are comforted, you're able to comfort somebody else. And I like that. God has given the child of God some comfort within them that when they go and they meet somebody else, they don't have any comfort. When they meet other folk and talk to others, they don't have no comfort. God has comforted you uh, in uh, your tribulation that you'll be able to put your arm around them and say, hey, it's going to be uh, all right. Uh, the day may be tough, uh, but just wait on tomorrow because there's a blessing that's already on its way. Uh, so God is our comforter. And he has comforted you. And he has comforted me that you can comfort somebody else. Uh, because everybody knows somebody that needs a little comforting. You may be doing all right, but you know somebody that's not doing all right. You know somebody that's a little bit down. You know somebody that's going through some trials and some tribulation. Of, all right, so tell them that I'm, I'm shut in, but you can't shut me up. I, I got to learn, and I got to touch my friends, uh, touch those that are down, uh, because I can be a comfort to somebody else. Right. We are in a time that we need to comfort somebody else. It ain't, it's just not about you and your house. You've got neighbors. You've got friends. Uh, uh, you're on the phone anyway all the time. You're always texting. Why don't you text a good word? Why don't you text this word out? Tell them, you know what? I'm shut in. <laughs> uh, but no. Shut me up uh, because God has brought me from a mighty long way, and I'm here to give just to build comfort. Uh, well, He was my deliverer, He's the de deliverer, and now He's the comforter, and now uh, He's the friend. Uh, and everybody, <laughs> Lord, I'm pressing, needs a friend. You know, uh, everybody, I said, needs a friend. Uh, you know, you know, you talk to people, uh, and I talk to them all the time. Uh, people will stop me in the grocery store wherever I am and just need somebody uh, to talk to, just need a sound and voice. Just, just, just looking for a friend, uh, looking for somebody that's not going to run them down and talk about them. Uh, need a friend. Everybody needs a friend. God is our friend. Jesus is our friend. Uh, that's why I said I am shut in. Uh, uh, but you can't shut me up. Uh, uh, I wish I, I want to shout right now and tell somebody if God has been uh, uh, as good to you as he has been good to me, uh, you want to stand up and say hallelujah. Thank God for your blessing. I said if God has been as good uh, to you as he has been to me, uh, this is why I know I'm shut in, uh, uh, but you can't shut me up. Uh, uh, why? Because uh, 
than one that's able to lay down his life for a friend. Greater love has no man, Lord have mercy, than this that he would lay down his life for his friend. I have a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. I have a friend uh, that even during uh, COVID-19 would not leave me by myself. I heard him say, I'll never leave you and I will never forsake you. I'll always be there for you. I am uh, uh, your friend. 